Hey everyone, this tutorial series is an introduction to game development in Unity for beginner 3D artists. This is a complete beginners to Unity tutorial. It assumes that you've never used Unity before, but it is assuming that you're coming from Maya and have a, at least a basic understanding of working in a 3D app like Maya. So we're assuming that you'll understand basic 3D modeling, UVW unwrapping, and also texturing in Substance Painter. However, you've never used Unity before. In order to follow along, you're going to need Unity version 2020.3.0F. Now that's the version that I'm using. You can get away using an earlier version, but then the packages that I'm using in this tutorial series won't work for you. You'll need Maya. Now I'm using version 2022. However, earlier versions will be fine. Uh, we're only doing very basic operations in Maya towards the end of this short series. You'll need Substance Painter. Any recent version will be fine. And particularly you'll need the Unity kits. So we're using a few kits from the Unity Asset Store. Uh, the Asset Store is basically a, a storefront run by Unity where you can purchase kits that streamline the game development process. Coming from an artist point of view for 3D modelers wanting to get into game development, a lot of the functionality uh, type of kits will be really useful. So we're looking at a few kits um, specifically for this tutorial series. One that you'll need is the standard assets. So the standard assets, uh, what I'm actually using from this is just under the standard assets. We can see in the package content here, we've got characters and it's actually just this first person character FPS uh, or FPC. First person controller is what we're using uh, purely so that we've got a, a nice easy solution for running around in our game. Uh, so I've actually exported this out and you'll see when I we get to it, when I import it, it will just be the character controller, but you can just import this entire package. So we'll, we'll need uh, either this or just the um, first person controller. When we do the environment section, I'm using the ancient environment from manufacturer for, uh, K4. Uh, this is a lovely environment. There's many systems like this, but it's nice to have professionally built assets um, to bring into your scene so you can decorate a scene that looks nice and polished. And later on, we'll be looking at the Corgi engine. This is a very powerful engine that has uh, quite a, a lot of functionality. We're not doing anything too advanced with it. We're using the existing template that comes with the 2.5D, which is a bit of a silly term, but the 3D scene. So it's a side-scrolling 3D scene and we're simply bringing in 3D assets from Maya and Substance Painter into the engine to customize the existing functionality that this provides for us to build our own game. Now I've broken down this series into a number of topics. The first one is simply an introduction to the Unity interface and core concepts. From there we'll go into building a simple scene. We'll use the Unity terrain system and that's where I'll import the ancient ruins to decorate the scene a little bit. From there, we're gonna take a quick look at the Corgi engine. Now there's a ton of documentation online on how to use the Corgi engine, and that's not what we're going into here. This is simply how to load up the scene and bring in our own assets. So learning how to bring a 3D model that you've created in Maya into Unity. What we'll do is go through Maya, make a very simple model, we'll unwrap it. We'll bring that into Substance Painter and texture that asset and then we'll bring that series of textures plus the 3D model into Unity, assemble them in Unity, plug them into the Corgi engine. So there's a bit to get through, but it's fairly short and it's very much intended for beginners. So don't fret if you've never used Unity before because we'll get you up and running in no time. 